Right, I'm over at Pretty. I'm going to do where the cows are not there at the moment. <laughs> this is the time of year where they, c they could still be cows around, but um, I'm going to go across the stile here and up that way, which I haven't done before, but I know there is a walkway. The alternative walkway is for me to go near that copse past um, Swildon's cave system and then cross the field patterns up to a nice crookedy path up there. But I know that there is a path here which is totally out of bounds to me in the summer because this has cows everywhere but I'm not saying there won't be any. But today, the idea of today, I've brought Alberta and parked her up. Just got to cross over here a minute. I've brought Alberta Be careful not to slip. So that there's no panic in rushing to get buses because there isn't a bus service as such out here. I mean, there probably is if you go all the way to Wells, but then you'd have to get several buses. It's all very complicated. This is a walkway, by the way, because I've just seen a public footpath sign. Look at these lovely walls, everyone. The sun is just starting to come out. Like I say, just through over there, there's an entrance to a very large caving system with miles of underground passages. Um, people have known to die in there, or they've not come out again, put it that way. Mark Jones is such a person who died, and he's got a plaque. I've recorded it before. I think he went in and never came out again. Um, and there's something mentioning him on the plaque, like, you know, exploring the Mendips forever underground, you know. So like I say, normally there are cows in here. Very curious cows, I noticed, because when I've walked across that path there, they usually come down to the wall. That field's usually okay. I've just come down past pretty infant school, or junior school up there, where I've parked Alberta, near the church. And the aim today is to go to Ebber Gorge. There are lots of ways of going. And this is one route I'm taking. I mean, you can drive right to the gorge. But the idea today <coughs> is to take advantage of exploring some of the fields while it's possible. Right, so over there, I mean, I'll just put the viewfinder on. Over there, we've got the Church of St. Lawrence. Pretty. Pretty is renowned for its, its fair. When I read earlier on a little book that I'm following, about the West Mendip Way, which passes through Pretty, that uh, a fair was created here because everywhere else had polluted ground. And um, it was said that the airs up here were pure. I've often said that when I've looked over in the valleys and the smog and everything. Right, so this is an introduction today to a different walk I'm trying out. I know over that field over there, <coughs> there's my usual walk that I do, which I will join up with eventually. But I'm doing the top route. <coughs> One sign of a cow, mind, and I'll be reverting back to my original route. I will just point out <coughs> that I apologise for the breathlessness but I have been quite wheezy and breathless this last week. It's an ongoing condition but it's not going to stop me getting out. 
the moment I stop going out, I'll seize up. The good thing to do is to get the chest cavity moving. To get the chest cavity moving. Right, so we're going to follow this pathway. It might actually take me straight over to my other route, for all I know. And all that, like I said, normally all these fields are completely overtaken by cows in the summer. I don't know whether they keep them in stables and sheds or what they do with them. Right, there's a very old fashioned style here I'm coming up to where you could also get on your horse by the look of it. Oh, some sheep in there. Hello, sheepies! Look at this old style here, look. It's a massive big old stone style. Yeah. Look at it, it's beautiful, isn't it? Let's have a look over the other side a minute. Obviously those sheep in there are probably heavily pregnant. It is lambing March, isn't it? Yes. And here we have, I reckon this might join up, you know, but well, this is all very interesting though, isn't it? I'll be making my way along there in a minute. Lovely big old style. I'll take some photos soon. Just look down over there. Yes, it's good. It's worth exploring while you can, you see. I mean, my alternative route was going to be going past that wood, down a dip, and up and across those fields there to a gate over there. This is probably still going to take me to a similar place, so... Right, this is Sheila. It's the... Um, it was World Women's Day yesterday. Today's the 9th of March, 2017. And I'm out on a hike. Need to get out of the cabin. Need to get out of the cabin. Right over and out. 